Uh, I have Maurizio Marcaglio here, who is a head coach of Ice Dance in Finland. You have been you have been living in Finland for a couple of years now, right? Well, the first year I was coming back and forth from Italy, uh, but since last spring, yes, I am in Helsinki, so I'm working here every day. Okay. Do you like to work with the Finnish ice dance couples? Well, it's a very great experience. I think uh, when I accept uh, the call from Susanna Rakamo, it was because uh, I think it was a great challenge, a great adventure. Of course, we have to develop a lot in here because the culture in the last year was not uh, about uh, ice dancing, but I think that we have so many skaters that we can really do something extraordinary in Finland and in the Nordic countries. So, what is the situation in, in ice dance in Finland? Do we do we have uh, enough of couples? That we have a, a few good couples, Olesia Karmi, Max Lindholm, and uh, Henna and Ossi. But how about the others? Well, I, uh, when I arrived here, the first thing was to try to have uh, new couples and new kids involved in, in ice dance. Uh, so far, we have a total of seven couples. So, not only the two seniors, but also a junior, we have two novice teams and two pre-novice teams, so I'm talking about nine, ten years old. Uh, I'm very glad because our last uh, boy that is joining Ice Dance is coming from Ice Hockey, so that I think uh, it is a demonstration that uh, it doesn't matter how mu how is your background, if you like a sport, you can change and you can do Ice Dance very good. Um, so I'm very, very happy how is develop the development is going right now. And I really hope that other, especially the boys, will join ice dance because it's a beautiful sport and I think that it will be extremely important for Finland to have more couples, so more competition. You are the ice dance world champion yourself, so you know how, uh, what this is. And you get to dance with the beautiful girls also, huh? Well, first of all, you yes, you dance with beautiful girls, uh, but uh, what was charming when I start to skate was also that I found a group of boys and we were friends and we were enjoying so much. So you have both the sides. You are uh, in the middle of a beautiful atmosphere with a lot of beautiful girls and it will stay for all your career, but you can have also very good friends. And what I'm thinking and what I'm trying to do in Helsinki is really to have a good group of boys. So they have also fun and they enjoy to come to the practice and skate together. What is the biggest uh, difference between uh, Italy and Finland in ice dance? I think that, uh, you know, in Italy we don't have so many skaters, but we are uh, pretty organized to the excellence. So our system brings the, the few skaters to arrive to the top. So we have a kind of a vertical uh, way to, to coach our skaters. Um, in Finland, the base is so huge. I mean, everybody in Finland can skate or, uh, or have tried to skate. So uh, this is not, uh, not difficult to find the skaters. It's difficult to kind of uh, uh, give them the path to, to arrive to the top and to be full athletes, not only considering sport as a hobby, which is fine, which is good. But if you want to achieve something, you must be m much more professional. You also brought your family here in Finland, and you have uh, kids, three kids. Do they skate? Well, uh, the big one, yes, is four years old, and we skate just in front of our apartment because uh, uh, the football field was icy for the winter, so we're using the skates for that. But um, I really don't give any direction to my to my sons. I mean, they they have to do what they feel, and. We, we let them try every kind of sport. If they will come up and say, Dad, we want to play football, fine. For me, it's, it's perfect. I don't want to have skaters, and that's it. Do you miss your own career, or are you happy as a coach? Well, I think that when you are an athlete, of course, you have to think about different things, and uh, your focus is about the competitions. Then it was a lot about the show business and all the things like that. But there is a moment where you have to understand that your life must keep going. You must do something different. Uh, I think that I'm lucky because I'm still doing something that I love. Uh, I think that's the best you can achieve in, in your life. Uh, so I hope to enjoy as much as possible. And then I, I don't know, I will see also the future. But right now I'm very happy to be in this position. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kitos. Moi moi. Grazie.